good. That's probably about right there, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon so. Cool. So let me just get this angled a little bit more. So we know where we're at. You can probably zoom out a little bit more. Oh, too much. <laughs> there we go, that'll do. That will do. That will do. Right, let me um see if I can join on my tablet and then I can see all of the comments. So just bear with me a second when we get like coming to a live stream is always a bit a bit dodgy, isn't it? Hi Rita. Yes, it is cold and windy here as well. Sunny though, thankfully. And thankful for the sunshine after the amount of rain we've had. Um yeah. Uh hi from hi Vicky in Brisbane. Um and uh Cork in, in Ireland and New Jersey and Germany. Wow, lots of people. That's good. We should just hold on a second until everybody is here, I think. Hi Pamela, yeah, great to catch you from the reading in two. Indeed, indeed. Indeed, indeed. So I've got all my bits and bobs ready here. <laughs> I spent a long time prepping this, as you can probably see from all the pieces. Lots of fun, lots of fun. Yes, hi Charlene from Canada. Fantastic. Good to have you all here. How's your weeks been? Are you had good weeks? Anything exciting happened? Anything new happened? Hi, Hat Karen from Arkansas. See, I got it right this time. Arkansas. Hi, Christine from Denmark. Wow, all over the world. Literally all over the world. Fantastic. Fantastic. We're kind of doing like um, a, a my own version of, you know how I like to mix up... Um, I like to mix up card folds. So we did on a live stream a little while ago, we did a, what was it called? Double display. Let me find my little list. It was called a uh, double display fold out gatefold card on the 27th of September. So this is like a version of that, basically. Uh, hi, Manila in Colorado. Uh, you're very good. That's good, Karen. I'm glad you're good. Uh, <laughs> I've had a busy one. It's always busy. It's always busy. Busy, busy. But I'd rather be that than be bored. Uh, so, yeah. Hi, Debbie in Brisbane. Um, yeah, so today's card is literally like the double display fold-out gatefold card that I did at the end of September. But I've mixed it in with that diamond card that, that was requested by, I can't remember who, somebody requested it. So I've mixed the two together. And so that's what we've got for today. Just also a little question for you all. So I was having a conversation literally earlier on today about live streams and what everybody wants from a live stream. Um, and a few people were saying that with live streams, these are people who like kind of know stuff about um, YouTube and stuff. For live streams, it kind of, you know, Q&As work best, tutorials a bit more tricky, etc. cetera. Um, what do you guys, do you guys like having live stream tutorials? Because I, as a, as a crafter myself who watches other crafters, you know, I watch like um, Dawn Stamping Up, Dawn, Dawn Stamping Thoughts, I think she's called. Uh, I watch her sometimes. Um, I know Sam Calcutt does a Facebook Live. I've seen, I've seen maybe a part of one of hers. But I don't really do Facebook, so, you know, I haven't really seen that. But I've seen other people live stream. Um, so, yeah, just want to know what kind of thing you like, basically. Do you like, would you prefer to have just a Q&A or do you like the tutorial? I personally like tutorials, but obviously it's up to you guys what you like. Um, right, comments. Susan, uh, my tablet is blurry, but it's always blurry. But that's because I'm trying to live stream and I've got it on my tablet at the same time. But if you turn your resolution up, then um, that hopefully will help. It might just be down to your internet. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Uh, hi, Cindy from Nebraska. Hi, Debbie. Oh, very said nice, Debbie. Have a nice uh karen yes you like you like tutorials okay cool because the other problem as well with me doing a q a because i don't really like to show my face you'd just be staring at my hands the whole time which is not really what you want to be doing um so yeah uh cindy not cindy uh susan yeah i think that um it might it's going to be at your end because i know it's definitely at my end um you might need to turn your resolution up maybe or uh i'm not sure really i'm not really sure yeah, Rita, you love tutorials. Pamela, you love tutorials. Vicky, you love tutorials. 
Um, yeah, I mean, so literally you all like tutorials. That's what I thought. I did think that. I mean, these are the one of the people who I was having a conversation with. She's a crafty person, but she does like crocheting and stuff um, and knitting and that kind of, you know, fabric crafts. So it's a bit different to what we do. So, um, yeah, uh, especially includes a page of instructions. Yeah, Vicky, I would love to do a page of instructions. However, it's time. It really is because I do have a blog but it's just having the time to keep it up to date. So I would love to do that. Uh, and to be honest, even putting the, the um, measurements in the description takes me time, as you probably gathered, because uh, I don't always manage to put them in until ages later. I literally last night only just did the one for the six by six framed half hexagonal. So, you know, the six by six version of this one that we did um, back in whenever it was, October, I don't know, whenever it was, September. Um, yeah, I've literally only just done the measurements for the 6x6 version of this um, already. Last night I just did it. So that's taken me quite a while to get those measurements in. So that's my problem. Um, but yeah, instructions would be good. I might see if I can, when I try and get things on top of things a bit more, I might see if I can um, do a page of instructions as part of maybe a membership deal. Um, I already have a membership on there, which is 2 99 a month, which is just like a buy me a coffee type membership. Um, and it gets you loyalty badges next to your name, custom emojis that you can use in the chat, uh, member shout outs, which I'm going to actually do in a minute, um, and also priority reply to comments. So that's what um, I've currently got, but I can do another like slightly you know, better membership um, that's slightly more, but includes instructions. Because I know that Lisa, I've forgotten, I don't know how you pronounce her surname, but she does like a PDF. She's got, she's very pro at all this business much more than me um but yeah but um i've got two members so far valerie o'donoghue and joyce fitzhugh who both joined in october so big shout out to them thank you so much for becoming members it's wonderful 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 um right who else we've got sabine i've i think i've already said hello to you um cindy hi to you hildegard is that your pronounced name not sure, sure yes hi to you um yeah so, um, yeah, so let me know anyway. Let me know in the comments below, you know, what you'd like to do. We could also do like even just a craft and you ask me questions. I mean, you can ask me questions anyway, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can answer them. The other thing as well I think I'm going to start doing is instead of doing an edited live stream, I'm going to do an actual video tutorial for that. So, for example, for this, I'll just remake it again, but as a video tutorial because I find it quite difficult to edit the live stream and especially because it's nice to be able to chat to everybody because those of you who are on here, you like it because we're chatting and obviously there's interaction. You're leaving me a comment. I'm reading it out. I'm answering you and it's nice. We can interact. But there are some people who don't like that and just want to see the tutorial. And so for me to try and edit it down to make it into a tutorial from a live stream, it's quite tricky. So it's actually easier for me to like do it all over again and just do it as a video. So I think I'm going to start doing that. So you'll probably see videos come up and you'll think, hang on, we've done that one already. We have, but it'll, it'll be the live stream and I'm now doing the tutorial for it. So there you go. Um, the other thing as well, I was just putting out there just for, hi Louise, hope your hand is getting better. Poor old Louise, she's one of my uh, craft ladies and she had a bit of an incident. So hoping you're feeling better, Louise. Um, the other thing as well, which I was going to mention um, as well, was there's one thing that's different about today's live stream. And uh, if you can spot what it is, uh, put it in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll give a shout out to the person who got it right. I've probably just mentioned you all, to be fair. But anyway, uh, yeah. Karen, you like a straight up tutorial when you're actually making the project. Love's lovely, but you don't craft along. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I mean, I personally didn't used to craft along, craft along either to live streams. Um, and sometimes the chat just annoys me. So, yeah, I, I try and do it for those who like the chat. But uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, Cindy, I will use probably new papers, different papers, because sometimes I don't always have more of what I've already used. Um, so, for example, there was the internal, um, uh, what's it called? Internal box. Oh, I don't know what they're called. It's like a pop-up box one where you open it up and you've got like a, w a window in, in the middle. And so I'm remaking that one, but I'm using entirely different papers. So, um, yeah. Karen, yes, my top is different. And I usually have the same fleece on, but I've changed my fleece. But that's not what it is. That's not the difference. Nice try, though. Nice try. Um, Karen Reeves. Yeah. Cool. Right. Anyway, 
Shall we make a start? We can chat as we go. We can chat as we go. Right, so the other thing as well, if I could just chat as we go, it just makes it easier for me then. I don't have to be thinking, right, I need to stop talking now because then when I edit it, I'm going to not want chat there. And so I'm just going to, I'm just going to, yeah. Uh, no, it's not my ring. My ring is still here. Here's my ring. Here's my ring. My desktop is the same. No, that's all the same. I haven't quite guessed it yet. Um, it was something that was very contentious and I have finally gone ahead and done it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll, you, you just keep guessing as we go along. Right. Can you see a face? Uh, I don't I don't like seeing my face. <laughs> I don't like my face. The only time you're going to see my face is in that tiny little circle at the top of my thumbnail on the, you know, the picture. That's the only time you're going to see my face. And that was a real thing, to be honest. I, I didn't want to put that on, but I decided that people want to put a face with a name. But that's the only time. Um, Karen, I think if you could put the dimensions for the card and mats as you're putting it together. Yeah, I usually do that as I go along. Yes, Karen Williams and Karen Reeves, you are correct. And Linny, they are. So I went and got them properly done. So I've done all of them. I didn't want to do all of them. Come down again. I didn't want to do all of them. But yeah, I went and had them properly. I think they're gels or acrylics. So I don't even know the difference. But anyway, I went and got them done. Um, and they've come out really well. So that's good. I don't know how long they'll last. But we'll see. So I went ahead and got all of them done, which I really didn't want to do. But I was like, for my job, I got to do it. So I did it. Right. Anyway, let's make a start. So you've guessed it now. So that's cool. Right. So let's start with, let me just get rid of all my mats and layers. Now I had a great time. Thank you. I had a great time sticking all mats and layers together. So you didn't have to watch me do that. Um, there's a couple that I haven't done, but uh, yeah, but I've done most of them. Right. Okay. Let me grab my base pieces. So let's start with, let's start with the one I've just thrown off screen. So this one is, there's quite a few bits you need. So base card wise, you need one piece that's five by seven. So that's this bit. And then you need two that are seven by ten and a half. So this is literally the same as we did for the original card, the double display gatefold card, I think it was called. Um, so it's exactly the same measurements, same score lines, everything. So you're going to score along the long edge and you're going to score at two and a half inches and at five inches and at seven and a half inches and at ten inches okay so that's that and you're going to do the same on this second piece so let's put that there and we're going to score at two and a half and at five and at seven and a half and at 10 so yeah so these two pieces are seven by ten and a half inches okay so that is all of that scoring done so let's bring in our strip so this strip here oh actually we don't need to score this because this is going to be like the belly band that goes around the outside um i'm not a big key not a big fan of belly bands however i think this one needs it if i'm honest um Okay, and then the other thing you need is three, um, no, not three, four, four pieces. Um, and these need to be four inches in length. But as far as the width goes, you can really, doesn't matter. I mean, you can go an inch, you can go an inch and a half, whatever you want. So I have actually um, gone for an inch and a quarter, just because oh, that's what I had in the way of offcuts. And what you want to do is all of them need scoring along the long edge at one inch, two inches and three inches. OK, so I've done already done three of them. Just did that fourth one. And that is that. Thank you, Louise. You've just become a member. Fantastic. Good on you, Louise. <laughs> Thank you so much. It really helps me out if you guys become members. Um, yeah, it really does. Right. So let's uh, valley fold here. Fanny fold, Philly fanny fold. What GSM is the white card? Right, now the white card is actually some really cheap stuff that I got from, uh, I think it was B&M or Poundland. No, it would have been B&M, I think. Let me have a look. Oh. And it is 210 GSM. So this is the um, card that I've used for the white card. I bought this. It's not the best. Yeah, it's B&M, B&M retail. Um, it's not the best. 210 is not bad, but the finish on it is a bit rough. But you know what, for things like this, it's fine because you don't want anything too thick. 
because you're going to be concertina folding it and then you've got extra layers in it you don't want to go too too thick with it so um so this is what i've used for that then also for my um oh, i'm going to do it all while, I'm, while i've got it out for the red matte card that i've got here so this is my red matte card um that is let me turn this around 300 gsm and this was a pack of 10 that i got from every crafts a pound or every crafts a bargain they've got two two um websites haven't they now uh and i can't remember how much it was it wasn't very much it wasn't a pound but it wasn't very much uh it worked out really well for 10 sheets of 300 it wasn't it was quite decent and they had other colors as well but i really like this red because it's quite a che like a cherry red um so that's that and then for my papers i've used some of the new um antonio makes papers and i'm going to be doing a video about this at some point um but he's done some new christmas papers he's got baubles and bits and bobs um and then he's also got some uh this poncettia christmas in the cottage so these i've used some of these papers here which i really like the poncettia um and i've also um used some of this one as well i've mixed those two together so the poncettia and the kind of christmasy one i've mixed those two together um and i've also used i would have liked that in a paper but we haven't got that as a paper but i might end up using that anyway somehow um so these are just here's a sneak peek of his new christmas stuff don't forget to use louise 10 and you get 10 percent off your order if you go over to antoniamakes.com um so yeah so that's what i've used for my papers uh and then the check was from an old trimcraft um pad called believe in magic sorry just got a bit of my head there um yeah so that's that and then these struts here were off um an old craft sensation paper block pad and they're 200 gsm i believe I think there's 200 yeah i think they're 200 gsm so that's what i've got for that um teresa hi oh dear i'm sorry you got the flu i hope you feel better soon a lot of people have got that at the moment i have to say i've had a few friends who have come down with that so i hope you're feeling better soon um right okay so let's go with this then so what we're going to do is if you take your um your 10 by seven and a half that you scored um, you're going to fold over and you're just basically in a concertina so your tab the fold where your tab is is going to be a valley fold and then you're just literally going to mountain valley mountain your way out of it so let's do that now if i keep turning it round, it's just because i'm right-handed and i want to get it straight that's all um hi dawn from maine i bet it's lovely in maine at the moment with it being autumn that's one thing I always thought about, you know, Maine. They have lots of autumnal, I mean, we all have autumnal colours, but particularly over there, I remember, remember seeing it. Um, right, let's just fold this up. Fold this up. Oh, I'm all over the place with me folding, aren't I? So bear with me. Yeah, I've seen, I can't remember where I... Oh, right, you know what I think it was? I used to work for Debenhams, which in the UK was a, used to be like a very large department store. And they had a brand called Maine. And um, quite a lot of their promo uh, posters uh, featured like autumnal leaves and that kind of stuff. And if you look it up on it on, you know, Internet, it always comes up with like beautiful, beautiful, you know, <laughs> beautiful autumnal colours. So that's that's like the only thing that I think of when I hear the word Maine. Um yeah, there you go, Cindy. Yes, that's what I thought. Maine has the most beautiful colours in full. I thought so. I thought that was the case. Right, so then, just like we did before, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick this onto that tab there and then onto this tab here. Now, you can use red tape or you can use wet glue or you can use any kind of strong adhesive. I'm going to go with a wet glue. I have used a um, red tape before. I find with wet glue I can kind of wiggle rim it into place whereas with wet with red tape once I've stuck it I've stuck it and then that's that so I'm just putting a bit on there and then I'm going to get my five by seven and I'm going to lay it lay it on make sure it's lined up along the top and bottom and make sure it's right in that corner it needs to be right in the corner of that crease okay so this is why I like wet glue and then we're just going to stick that down. And the reason why I folded it over like that 
instead of lining it up flat is because it needs to be like this in the envelope. So it needs to be folded like that in the envelope. So that's why I want to make sure it definitely folds okay. Um, right, and so then we're going to do the same with this one. So I'm going to put, um, again, glue on here. Like this. And then I'm going to do exactly the same again. So this time I'm just going to take my whole piece, turn it over. So this is the 5 by 7 piece. I'm going to lay it onto here, get it into that corner, make sure it's straight. Just push it up against that corner there, make sure it's straight, which is there. And now you've got a longer length of card, you can really guarantee you are going to get it straight. Um, hi Edrina from Wales. What's it like in Wales today? Is it hopefully it's not wet? It's what it's renowned for, isn't it? It's renowned for being wet in Wales. Right, so when you fold it up, you might end up with gaps like I have here. Don't worry too much because you have got a belly band over the top, so it's not the end of the world. Right, so that is basically how we did the double display, whatever it was called, gatefold card. Um so that's that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and decorate first and then we're going to add the extra bit in. So for decorating, you will need, she says, getting all our pieces together. You are going to need two mat layers that are, says looking for my measurements, two mat, mat, mat layers of these red pieces that are four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then you need one pattern piece that's four and a half by six and a half and one white piece or like this, a plane that you can write your message on. That's also four and a half by six and a half. So this one is going to go here on the inside and then this one is going to go on the back. So these papers are all from Antonio Makes, as I was saying. So, yeah, so let's stick those down. Uh, lots of rain, Edwina. Yeah, sounds about right. But it keeps the place looking green and lovely. So that's the... That's the advantage of it, I guess. Oh, my glue's all slid down the tube. Right, let's just stick this down. Sticky down, sticky down. There we go. There we go. Also, while I'm sticking these down, what's your favourite piece of craft, like, favourite craft tool that you couldn't do without? Stick it in the comment. Something that you couldn't do without, like, you know... You have to have it like one item i know there's lots of items as crafters there's lots of things but one item that you definitely couldn't do without let me know in the comments uh the glue i'm using is yoohoo all-purpose adhesive now in the uk i get it from uh poundland it used to be bigger tubes than this they used to be 70 mil tubes or 75 mil tubes um but they're now 35 so they're still the same price which is a shame um, I think you can also, it depends if you're where you are, I'm not quite sure, but in the UK, most sort of DIY type places do it. Um, I think the range have done it in the past. I'm not sure if they still do it. Um, but yeah, that's where that's where I got it from. It's very useful. It's great apart from you can't really use it on mirror card because it can take the surface of the mirror off. Same applies to glitter. You can't use it on polystyrene because it'll melt it. But for just normal matte and layering with card and paper, it's um it's fine. It's fine to use. Right, let's see what items have we got. Uh, door and paper. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody could do without paper, could they? <laughs> let's be honest. Um, Rita. Oh, brother, scan and cut. Okay, interesting. I used to have a scan and cut, but I I kind of I don't know. I didn't get on with it, so I end up you know moving it on to a new home, and it gets used a lot now. So that's good. Um. Scoreboard and paper cutter, yes, I have to say I would agree with that. Pamela, your die cutting machine, yep, I reckon I agree with that as well. Yep, Dawn adhesive, absolutely it's loads in there. Scissors, yep. Um, Karen, in the States you can buy it on Amazon. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you can buy it, that's good. So you can get hold of it. Um, right, okay, so for the next bit, um, you are going to need a total of eight matte pieces that are two and a quarter by six and three quarter, and then you need eight pattern pieces that are two inches by six and a half. Now you might want to do four of pattern A and four of pattern B, and that is what I have done. Um, and then these are going to go 
on here. So we're going to have some that are, in fact, I think I was doing this way around, wasn't I? Some that are this way around, like that. And then these are all going to be this way around, like that. Is that right that way around? Or should I get, no, it's that way around. It doesn't really matter, but I did cut them all in a row. So, so like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down now. Right, what else have we got? Uh, red tape, yeah, I have to say. Red tape would be on one of, top of my list, to be fair. Pencil eraser. Hi, Susie from Illinois. Um, Rita, it took you over a year to get it out of the box. Yeah, I have to say, <laughs> it did take me a while. but Because at the time, I was demonstrating for Trimcraft. And so that was my main work. So I didn't really have time to be properly looking at it and working out how to use it. Um, and so that was the problem. So because of that, I kind of never really properly got my head around it. And every time I had a go on it, I'd end up making a mistake. And then it would take me twice as long to do anything. And I just was like, you know what, I can't be doing with this. <laughs> so I just gave up in the end. I was like, it's just taking up space. I just never used it. I'm very much more a die cutting person. Although having said that, I have been seriously considering getting an electronic cutting machine recently. Um, I know that obviously Cricut have got them out and there's, you know, the various other people, Silhouette and other people who have them. So uh, I have been considering it, but I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. It could still happen. It could still happen. I think if I was doing it for work, then I would get one because, you know, if I was sort of, you know, having to promote it or whatever, I would definitely use it a lot. Uh, but otherwise, it's just having the time to, having the time to work it out. It work it out. Uh, who else have we got? Paper cutter and scoreboard combined. Yes, Edwina, I agree. I agree. I have to say, I've got that. Obviously, that we are memory keepers, um, which is a scoreboard and a trimmer, all in one. But I do tend to only use the scoreboard bit of it. I think because I've got my guillotine, I really get on well with my guillotine. But I know when I used to do demos, then the cutting part of my scoreboard really came in. So I didn't really want to carry a, a guillotine around with me. So uh, I did use that an awful lot. It has to be said. So yeah, right, let's stick these last few panels down. Right, get them on. It's quite a busy card, this one. And the papers are quite busy. But I quite like the red and the turquoise. Quite rich. Quite rich, I thought. Quite nice. And I'm hoping that the red gingham i'm going to use will help to kind of break it up a little bit kind of give it a little bit of a breather so i've only actually made a sample of this card so whether it works or not is another matter hopefully it will let's just do this one so we've got two left i presume that everybody started um making christmas cards by now have you have you started making Christmas cards yet? I mean, I'm presuming, you probably haven't, some of you. <laughs> I think this is my work, I have to, you know, kind of, I might start making them in like August. But yeah, who hasn't started crafting for Christmas yet? Let me know if you haven't started yet. Um, I know that I there was a point when, before I used to do this as a job, I would try and make one Christmas card every week. Um, and so that meant I had 52 cards by the time I got to Christmas. So that was quite a good way of doing it. But, um, yeah. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, the papers are pretty. So these are Antonio Makes, his new Christmas collection. Um, so, yeah, go and have a look. I know that these have been a really good seller. And I'm not surprised why, because they are amazing. Uh, so, yeah, go and have a look over there. Don't forget to use Louise 10 and it'll get you 10% off. Um, what else have we got? Cindy, you bought your We Are Memory Keepers school board and paper cutter from watching you and Posh Daddy, yeah. Um, yeah, and Rita, I see, what I, I, that's, that's the reason why I don't use it in the craft room, because it does blunt the, the blade too quickly. Although I have got so many blades, because I stocked up, when I had my Fiskars trimmer, I stocked up on blades. So really, I should get my Fiskars trimmer back out and use that because there are sometimes when you just want to cut down like shutter cards you want to start in the middle of the page and just cut to a certain point so they're quite useful for that um 
Karen, you haven't started yet. No. Vicky, you've finished them. Well done. I think you should get the award for that. My goodness. You finish your Christmas cards. Good job. That's that's good organisation, that is. Uh, Pamela, you've made quite a few simple ones for posting. Yeah, I have to I have to say each year I have to try and remember you need to make some that are flat that you can post. It's all very well making these big, massive, great things. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Right, okay. So next, we're going to have little diamondy things popping up. Now, I've got a sample card, which I can show you, but this is um, this is just, I haven't matted and layered, this is just sample. So this is what I made, so I knew that it was going to work. So I've got like a belly band on the front, with the square on the front, and then you open it up and you've got the triangles, and then when you open it up again, you've got all of these diamonds. So that is what we're doing, okay? And as you can see, some of them are on little struts. So some of them are just stuck, some of them on little struts. So that is what we're making. So we're now going to go ahead, once we've decorated the inside, which we've done, we're now going to go ahead and stick, start sticking all of our little triangles on. So first of all, I need to stick this one on at the back, and then we're going to work our way out, as it were, um, to get them all in. Sorry, I just keep doing this. Sometimes you find that it, the little point sticks itself in the wrong place. Right, okay, so let's just put this to one side and then bring in, move that out of the way as well. I'm going to bring in my square one, which I've already done. Where is it? Here it is. So here's my square one. So you're going to need, let's just look at these comments first before I move on. Um, Rita, yeah, I've seen someone sharpening blades on YouTube, but I have to say I did try it, it didn't work for me. Uh, Karen, you like the bigger cards? Yeah, I do, but I tend to leave them for people who are nearby, or if it's like my parents, I'm going to post a present with it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, uh, Vicky, I would love a guillotine for 12 card, no blades required. Yeah, so the one I've got is actually a Tim Holtz guillotine, um, and it's very good, it's just here on, it's just here on the right out of sight, but um. It is very useful, very good, doesn't go blunt, it's wonderful. Right, okay, back to the card. You're getting sidelined. So you're going to need, in total, you're going to need two... Right, so I've got base card, mat card, and pattern card. So for the base card, you need, in total, you're going to need five three and a half by three and a half squares. Two of them you're going to use as whole squares, so one's going to go there, and one's going to go on the belly band. And the other two are going to be cut in half diagonally. And we're going to come to that in a minute. Okay. But the two that are, you know, full, you don't have to cut them up. You need two, three and a half by three and a half. And on top of that, you need to put on two mat layers that are three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And two pattern layers that are three inches by three inches. Okay. So that is your whole squares. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick this on. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to measure just to make sure that I'm definitely getting it halfway because I have a slight feeling that if I don't measure it, I could end up with a wonky diamond and nobody wants a wonky diamond. So I'm just literally going to put a tiny little mark there and a tiny little mark here at three and a half and then I know where my points need to be. So that is going to go there and there like that and I'm literally going to stick that straight on I'm not going to um raise it up or anything it's going to go straight on oh <laughs> hi Louise you finally managed to comment your phone wouldn't let you you had to use your laptop I know these things it is tricky sometimes technology still baffles me I have to say I have to say I'm still not a pro at this live stream business I'm looking at trying to use some different software so I can be a bit more professional but it just takes time to sit down and look at it all and I just haven't got that time or that brain space to do it so yeah right so there's my middle one there's my middle square like that and then onto that I am going to put a bauble or some kind of decoration but I'm going to wait until we've done the others and then I'm going to stick it in because I know how much space I've got because um, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out just yet Right, this other square I'm just going to put to one side for now because that will come into play when we do the belly band. So, for the other triangles, which are these, you need, and I've left one uncut so you can see what I'm doing. 
So for the other triangles, you need in total, as I was saying, three, three base layers that are three and a half by three and a half. And on top of that, you need three matte layers that are three and one eighth by three and one eighth. And on top of that, three pattern pieces that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut these in half diagonally. So it's going to give me two triangles per um, thing, if you see what I mean. So I'm just going to move my tablet out of the way and hope it doesn't fall on the floor. It looks like it wants to. There we go. And then I'm just going to, as you can probably hear my guillotine, just to one side. I'm going to just chop that in half diagonally so that's like that and then i'm going to do the same with the the mat and with the pattern so you're doing that with all three of your squares that are that size do not get them confused with the other squares that stay whole okay because your measurements for your mat and pattern are different i will put all the details in fact i don't know if i already put the details below of the measurements i might have done i can't remember i think last night i was trying to get ahead so you end up with that okay so that's what you get right let's have a look dawn you've got a regular stash of christmas cards but haven't started making any this year okay well that's good that you've got a regular stash because then that means that you don't necessarily need to you know at least you've got a like a you know a backup as it were a backup plan um louise you've only made a see far yeah the ones we've done in class Oh, good, your Coco as a Studio dies arrived today. Oh, you'll have to let me know which ones you got. So that's good. I've actually had another email from them. They're going to send me some more, so I can't wait to show you those. And they're also, looks like they're going to send me some other bits, not just dies as well. So um, I'm excited for that, very excited. Because I know they do papers as well, and I'm desperate to get some of their papers because they've got some really nice ones. Um, so, yeah, so that's good. Yeah, Dawn, I love Christmas cards as well, I have to say. There's, there's certain cards you can only make for Christmas, like, you know, Christmas tree shaped ones or cer there's certain cards that for me, they're only Christmas card cards. You can't really use them for birthdays. I mean, you can probably tweak them, I suppose, but yeah. So as you can see, I would have had three of these to do. So I thought I'd save you the, the trauma of having to watch me stick a whole bunch of triangles down. So I stuck most of them down last night and just left this one just so you could see what, I'm, what I, you know, how I did it. Um, but as I said, you do need to concentrate and make sure because both your base cards are three and a half by three and a half. You do need to make sure that you have the right mat up for the full square and the right mat for the di you know, the triangular square. So it's very important to concentrate it. Uh, right, there we go. Oh, Dawn, you're going to start some more. You're going to start making some. Okay, you start Christmas off Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, I wish we did Thanksgiving. I really do wish we did Thanksgiving because I think it's a really good idea. A really good idea. So it's a bit of a shame that we don't do it. But there we go. Um, right, okay. Uh, Bear, you've made some you've made loads for the charity shop where you volunteer. Oh that's good. I'm glad they're really grateful of I'm sure they're really grateful of your um of your cards as well. I did think about donating some of mine, in fact I have done in the past. Uh Cindy you started making Christmas cards and a friend asked you to make ten for her. Nice. <laughs> it's always good. Right, so the little strip that we scored at the beginning, which was about one and a half by four, and you scored it every inch. You're just going to fold them in half. These are going to act like your little pop-up pieces for your triangles to go on. Now, I would recommend that you choose a colour for these that kind of matches the colour in your pattern paper. So then when they're on, you don't they kind of blend in a bit. I mean, I could have gone red, but they kind of blend in. Um, OK, so I could go that way around or I could go that way around. I'm not sure which way around. Mm. Oh, no. You're not really going to see them, so I'm just going to go with the way I did it before. So you want to put glue just on the end two pieces or red tape, glue or red tape. I find it easier with glue, but if you prefer to use red tape, you can go ahead and do that. And then what you're going to do is that is going to go right in that crease there. So this is my folded edge. These are my, this is my cut edge. It's going to go right in that corner there, and you're just going to shut that little bit of card on it. So you can probably see there's quite a bit of bulk starting to appear. 
okay so this is why it's best to use you know as, as low gsm as you can for everything i've gone a bit heavy i have to say with my mat card um because i can already see a bit of a a bit of a, a bulk here but anyway so you end up with that you end up with a little a little box type thing on your um card okay and so onto that you're going to stick a triangle and you want to make sure that when it folds down it lines up with this one here so just work out you know where it needs to be roughly and again this is why i find glue is better so i'm just going to go ahead and add some glue all over that one like that and then i'm going to stick this on like that and i'm just going to bring it in and just make sure let me just turn it around so i can see i'm just going to make sure that it's pretty much central yeah there that's central okay just turn that back around again with my pencil out of the way and just press down because it is wet glue so i need to make sure it dries as i say with red tape obviously it sticks straight away but it's just yeah you need to be very sure where you're putting it i mean you could draw a line and stuff i guess and and uh you know measure it all out but yeah so that's what you end up with so you should end up with a nice triangle so when you open it up it pops up okay so i'm now going to do the one on the other side so it's exactly the same again get another one of your little tabs and thank you rita i'm glad thank you so much for buying me a coffee thank you thank you uh you'll be able to catch the replay and i will be able, obviously i'll be doing it as a, an actual tutorial as well at some point so yeah have a nice day um dawn thank you i'm glad you find it stunning i kind of i don't know how i come up with the ideas i think i just kind of have a bit of a think sometimes i watch other people other crafters see what they're doing um quite often i might see a picture on pinterest and be like oh and then i think it is a certain way and then when i actually come to do it it's like oh no it's not that actually it's not exactly what they meant but i'm like oh well i quite like what i came up with so i'm gonna stick with it and sometimes like with this one i just mix up ideas so this was a i knew that the, the diamond card had been popular and uh, because it was requested and then when i did it um it just everyone liked it so i thought oh could i mix that with that other one that might work so i did a, a little version of it and yeah it does work <laughs> so <laughs> i was like right voila that's my live stream idea so there we go like that and then we go ahead and add the triangle so put some glue on and also sometimes i see videos of like people who've used dyes for certain things and i just think oh you could do that without the dye i'm just gonna have to turn this around so i can see where my point is it's there okay and then let's stick it down there we go right let me stick that down yeah i wasn't sure with these papers they are quite busy I wasn't sure how it was going to go but i think the red the red um gingham kind of breaks it up a little bit so it's a bit less in your face i mean it's quite a busy card it is quite a busy card but... right okay so that's that one now when you come to putting them when you come to folding it down you do have to be careful that this point whichever goes underneath doesn't get stuck in between the triangle and the little box so if I turn this round like this and see if you can see. So when I go to close this up, and as you can see, it's kind of getting there. It's kind of getting a bit stuck. I'll see if I can tilt it so you can see. Don't know if you can see. Let me tilt it back a bit more. Don't know if you can see it, but the, the pointy bit is just getting stuck in the little wedge on top of the little box. So you just need to just kind of point it down a little bit and get it going underneath and then it's fine but it does do that a little bit you can make your triangle a little bit smaller if you want to use a slightly smaller square but um i just like that when it opens up they're pretty much bang on um but yeah you do have to watch that when you're opening and closing your card right so we're going to do the same process again and we're going to do it into this crease here um 
Dawn, yeah, no, I didn't own a lot of dyes to, to start with, I have to say. My dye um, stash increased when I started working as a demonstrator. Up until that point, I think I literally had nesting circles, uh, nesting ovals, and maybe like a happy birthday. I think that was probably about my limit. Didn't have a lot at all. Um, and then I just slowly built up as time went on. But uh, yeah, you just, yeah, you can just kind of build up as you go, really. I'm guessing we're halfway is here. Christmas is always a good time. Put it on your list, Christmas list. <laughs> it's always a good time to increase the stash or birthdays. Um, because I quite often get people asking me, what would you like for Christmas? What would you like for your birthday? And so, yeah, some people now won't buy that for me because they're like, well, it's your work. I'm like, yeah, but it's still it's something I enjoy doing. So it kind of is work, but it's not work. So, OK, so that's that box there. And then we're going to add another triangle on. Oh, you've got a cricket, Dawn. Well, wow, you don't need dyes if you've got a cricket. Oh, wow. Fabulous. Yeah, exactly. You can convert stuff. Exactly, exactly. Now you don't need you don't really need a die cutter machine. If you've got a cricket, then you you're good to go, really, aren't you? Because you can pretty much make anything on a cricket. And like you say, you can just convert stuff. So if you see something you like that is a die, maybe, you can just convert it. So yeah. Oh, let's just move that down a bit. So with this next one that we're putting in, you just want to make sure it lines up with the one below it. Apologies, my head's getting in the way. I'm just trying to look on top and see. Yeah, that, that lines up. OK, now this is a lot thicker than my sample card. So I'm just wondering now whether my belly band strip is actually going to be big enough. We will find out. But yeah, so that's that's those two. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side. Good morning, Devona. How are you? Are you okay? Good to join us. I'm glad you managed to join us. Um, let's put this on. Ooh. Put my thing back on again. Yeah, Cindy, you got brother. I think, you know what, I, I've sort of come to realise that I think a lot of people, they're either cricket people or they're brother scan and, scan and cut people. Like, I know there are people who own both, like you do, but I think you kind of gravitate more towards one than the other. That's just kind of a natural thing. Um, and I think that's sort of quite normal, to be fair. Because they are quite different animals. Do you know what I mean? Like they're, they're not, but they are. So, um, I think the scanning cut does more, which is why I went for it initially. But I just didn't have time. And also because I'm very much a physical, like a visual person. I want to see, like I'll look through my dies and think, oh yeah, instantly I'll know that's going to fit on my card. But if I'm doing it on a screen, I'm then like, is that going to fit? Is it not? Is it the right size? Is it not? And I had so many disasters where I designed something, measured it all, because I know, yeah, measure it, measured it all, and then went to put it on and was like, oh, no, it doesn't fit. It's just a little bit too small or it's just a little bit too big. So I think that's why I kind of held off, why I didn't get on with the, the scan and cut, and also why I held off getting a cricket for that reason. So is that lined up? Yeah, I think so. Like that. Okay. Right, let's just get that one over here. There we go. Right, thank you, Teresa. Yes, these are the new Antonio Makes papers. Um, and they are very nice. I really like the Ponsetti and I really like these ones as well. These Ponsetti, these are another lot of his papers. So he's done, um, I think there's two papers that have got like a, I've done it on A4, so I've sort of trimmed bits off. They've got this like pine coney kind of thing all the way around and then Ponsetti in the corners. And they also got a cream Ponsetti, one with a navy Ponsetti. Uh, I think that's it in the red one. Yeah, but it's very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, yeah, Louise, I know you had the scan and cut. So you had the same struggles as me. Now you've got the SDX scan and cut, and I got on from Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, see, I'm wondering whether it was a scan and cut problem, <clears throat> whether you know they 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 had issues because I I just used to I used to have so many problems with getting the blade depth right and the oh I don't know whatever I used to get it so just used to get a muddle. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you get on better with that one. Um, I do get tempted to have some kind of electronic cutting machine, but then I'm like, oh, 
But exactly, you still like your dies. Exactly. I think there's a place for both, to be fair. I think there's a place for both. Um, Teresa, scan and cuts on your wish list. I mean, it does, I have to say, with the scan and cut, I do think that it does cut down on the amount of things you necessarily have to buy. Because I know with a Cricut, you've got a design space, but you have to pay for that. Whereas with scan and cut, you don't have to pay for their design space, as it were. Um, oh, see, that's good then. The SDX, you don't have to mess around with blade depth. It's all automatic. Oh, that's good. Um, oh, dear, here we go. Let's just block the silly people making silly comments. Uh, right. I don't know if I can block it on here, can I? Let me see if I can block it. Just bear with a second. Let me just... Mm. Uh, hmm. Just bear with. We've got a silly, silly chatty person. Um, oh, I can't see them now. Well, I've blocked them on I've blocked them on somebody else. Let me report them. Hang on a second. If everyone wants to report that silly message, that would be good. Thank you very much. Report. There we go. It's very nice of them to join us, but I don't want them on my channel. Um, right, anyway, so yeah. So once you've done these ones here, we then need to do the two that are stuck on. If you wanted to make them pop, you could. But um, I decided to keep, I decided that I'd probably have enough chunk on my card that I didn't need to make them pop. So let's stick this down on here. Like that. There we go. Just wait for that to. Uh... Uh, you only use your Cricut for mass production. Yeah, I have to say it would be very useful for that. And also for things like 3D projects. So if you want to make little um, houses or little lanterns, I can see it being very useful for things like that. Um, you use Cricut for everything, mainly cards. You just made a 3D luminary on your Cricut. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I think. Hi, DE. You just came across your channel by accident. Do you do these live tutorials every week? Yes, I do. I do them every Tuesday at half 12 UK time, um, except for school holidays. So in school holidays, I will then put out an edited live stream instead of an actual live stream because I have a son and he's off school and trying to do a live stream with my son as Louise will know from when she's trying to do a craft class during a school holiday he often comes in and uh, <laughs> disrupts everything so <laughs> so trying to do a live stream just isn't going to work so yes yeah, so apart from school holidays I do them every week every Tuesday um, at 12 30 p.m um, UK time so please come and join us and other than that I have scheduled um, scheduled videos on a Tuesday and a Friday um, and they're just like normal, normal scheduled videos. So yes. Uh, do you use scan and cut to print your papers? Oh, can you print papers on a scan and cut? I know. I suppose you could, could design your own, couldn't you? I suppose. Um, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. This paper is from Antonio Makes. So www.antoniomakes.com. Uh, he does digital kits, so you print them out yourself. I use a an HP 150NW laser printer to print mine out on, and I find it's really good, it's really useful. The cartridges are quite expensive, but I've currently bought a um, one of the... It's not a genuine cartridge, it's like a, a compatible one, and it seems to be working fine. I'm usually wary about doing that, but this seems to be working fine, so... Um, yeah, and then I've just printed it off on 120 GSM paper. Was it 80? I'm not sure, but it's decent and it comes out really well. Um, so, yeah. So if you use Louise 10, um, you will get 10% off your order. So if you want to go over there, please do. The beauty of his digital kits is that doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can print them off. The only thing is you really do need to have a decent printer. So that's the only thing. Um, but yeah, if you haven't got a decent printer, but you've got access to somebody else who's got a laser printer then you could do that. You can use inkjet, but it does use up a lot of ink. So it's better to go with laser. Um, but I know there are companies online that, you know, do that. So, um, right. So there we go. So that's that. So now what we're going to do is decorate it up. Now then, I wanted to have, I really like the idea of having a Merry Christmas in the middle there. However, you wouldn't be able to close if I did that. So that's not going to happen. So I was wondering about having a Merry and then a Christmas, which I might do. 
I've cut out some of these baubles. Now, these are actually from Coco Rosa Studio, but I bought these uh, ooh, a while ago before I started working, you know, like working alongside Coco Rosa Studio. Um, and they come in, let me get my little dies out just to show you, because they are still current. Ignore the happy birthday on the top. But you get this little string of like circles. It's all one piece, but it cuts little little circles out of your card so it makes it look like it's a string and then they've got smaller ones you know not not as big a length and also smaller circles and so they obviously would go from above your um above your bauble so they're really useful then they've got these two bauble dies which i really liked um because they're ornate but they're not too ornate um and then bows and the bows again they, they give you two not just one which is nice it means you can cut them you know cut all four pieces and end up with two bubbles so yeah really liked really like these um so i've used these today and i've actually cut some out of the sea blue sparkle print card from um, paper mill direct um and i don't know if you can see it i'm not sure let me see if i can hold it up but if you can see it, it's got a slight oh no I don't know I'm, let me see if I can get the camera on it it's got a slight sparkle to it I don't know if you can see that so I've basically put some um I put some extra wide uh adhesive tape on the back and this is from Crafty Devils um in the UK me and Louise actually went to the craft show recently and bought some uh, but it's really good so it's basically tissue tape you know double-sided um tape but it's nice and wide so you, i've just literally covered i had like an off cut of card i covered it in the tape and then i've just cut myself out you know some baubles and then i've just stuck it onto vellum uh, and actually if you can see on the back as well there you know normally with glue and the adhesive problem you have you don't have that problem with this because it's sticky all the way over so yeah really good this is so i'll try and remember to link it in the description i don't know if they still do it actually i have a feeling one of my other craft ladies said they've stopped doing it uh, but if I can find any, I will let you know. But if not, you could use stick it. Sti uh, is it stick it? Uh, stick, no, stick it. Yeah, stick it. Stick it is also, it comes in like sheets, um, A5 and A4 sheets. And also, I think woodware, do any kind of double-sided adhesive sheet is useful. But I find this easy because it die cuts really nicely. Um, I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking. Right, <laughs> and that's my job. But anyway. Uh, Dawn, if I attach it on one side so it can slide, I did think about that. However, it measures almost five, so it'll only go that far. It won't go any further because it's too wide. Um, yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is, instead of having like a whole bauble, I was going to cut my bauble in half and just have half a bauble here and then have half a bow. So that was the plan. This might not work. It might not look right, but I'm hoping it will. So the idea is, let's say that's your ball ball, you only have that half showing there and the other half showing there. So that's the plan. This might go horribly wrong. We will see. Right, so I'm just going to leave that there for now and I'm going to bring my ball balls over. Let's just whack that out of the way for a second. need to move my tablet again so I can get to my um, guillotine. Um, right, so... I need to find out how big these are so I can cut them. Whoops, Daisy. So I can cut them in half. So they are two and, well, five eighths really. Two and five eighths. A nice, easy, easy measurement to divide up into two. What are they in centimeters? Seven, that's better. Seven, so that's three and a half centimeters. Okay. Right, so I'm going to cut this in half. In fact, I think. I probably need to add my bow first and then cut it in half because I think that might be easier. It might not, but I'm hoping it will be. So let me add a little bit of, I'm going to use proper glue. It might fall off, but we'll see. I was thinking of using the Merry Christmas on the belly band um, for the outside. And then having like a sort of separate, a Merry and a Christmas just on those two. I could have it at the top actually, that would also work. Uh, right, let's stick this onto here like that. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to stick all my baubles down first, all my bows on first. 
and then I'm going to come, in fact let me try a bit of red tape because I feel like red tape might be a better idea. Let's try a bit of red tape, see if that works. Um, no, I need my thin stuff. I need me thin red tape. I can't be doing with thick red tape. It's not going to work. I don't know whether glue's better or red tape's better, to be honest. But anyway, I can always add some more. I can always add some more tape or glue or whatever onto it along the bottom if I need to. I just like the idea of it popping off the edge. Anyway, right. Let's get my one there like that. Stick that on. Oh, that feels more secure. I think I'm going to have to attach it elsewhere though as well. I think just one little tiny middle point is not going to be enough. So I feel I'm going to have bows popping off. So let's just add another bow on come here mr bow oh dear oh he's not behaving himself come here right let's stick that on there like that and i'm going to put another piece as well on these edges because i feel like it needs a bit more securing since i'm going to be chopping the whole thing in half so i'm only going to be chopping those two is it one two Oh no, three I'm going to be chopping in half. And then the others are not going to be, they're going to be, well, the, the other one is going to be a whole one, which I was planning to put at the back there, but it depends whether you can see it or not. I might, I might reconsider. We'll see. Right, let's just fold this over. Um, oh, I've just realised something. <laughs> just put tape on that piece there and I shouldn't have done because it is um it's going to be sticking out above the bauble anyway um like that right okay let's just uh let's just have a look oh we've done bits of red tape so the thing with red tape is it really <laughs> It really annoys me when it all gets stuck to your fingers. Right, three and a half is about there. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing now because I'm on my guillotine. Um, yeah, about there. Oh, that's great. Whether it's going to work or not. So what I was thinking was like half a bauble either side. I mean, it doesn't look like a bauble, but Mind you, with the, if I have a big one in the middle that is proper, then you know, like a proper, is a full bauble, then it probably will work. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to carry on anyway and hope for the best. Okay, Louise. Um, yeah, I hope your hand gets better soon and uh, have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you in class at some point soon. Oh. Just sticking things. Hi Sylvia from the Netherlands. Um, good to see you. Good to see you. I'm just gonna stick this down as well. So I should have put tape on these pieces, but I didn't. I forgot. So now I'm just gluing them down. Um, right. Let me cut these in half as well. Just need to stick those bits down. I'm glad you're loving the card, Vicky. It is quite, a, it's turned out way more grand than I was expecting it to, but that's good. We like grand. Grand is good. Right, let me just split this one down the middle. Three and a half, which is this. It's a bit you can't see because I'm doing it on my guillotine. Three and a half, three and a half. It's about there. Oh. I need to get it right in the middle of that bow. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. Oh, there we go. Right. So that's that one. There's another one. And then this one here. And again, three and a half is actually there. Just remember that I've got like a halfway set of measurements. There we go. Right. That means I can put my tablet back up again. Uh, hi Sandra from Las Vegas, fantastic. It's funny actually because um, I was actually, we've got a, a church over in Las Vegas and I was 
it was Sunday evening for us and you guys it was only like 10 in the morning and I was like on my days <laughs> like the time difference is so big so I expect it's probably quite early in the morning isn't it over there at the moment so thank you for joining me <laughs> thank you for joining us right so now we need to stick these down and I think I'm going to use um Anita's tacky glue I think for this yep um Linda Thompson hi Louise how have you done any tutorials making shadow boxes I have done tutorials making shadow boxes um different types so yeah and actually the um I did a, a live a, a live stream for um a type of shadow box like an internal shadow box type thing um and I'm going to be doing a video an actual video tutorial for it so it's not just a live stream because I appreciate not everyone wants to watch a live stream. Um, so that will be going up at some point. I'm not quite sure when yet. But it will be going up at some point. Um, but yeah I have. And I've done other ones as well. So if you have a look back on my channel. It will be a while ago now. But I have done I have done other ones. Um, so yeah. Beautiful model. Thank you very much. Um, Sanj it's pretty early here. 5.35 on oh my days. Wow 5.35 that's very early. That's, that's very early. Yeah, it's too early for me. Right, that's that one. This is this one. Uh, who else? Could you cut them in half but put them on the point? Uh, cut them in half and put them on the point. Sorry, my brain's not working. Cut them in half and put them on the point. Possibly. I'm trying to think what you mean. Do you mean... Hmm, do you mean further in? I could, I just didn't know whether it would look odd if I had half a half a ball ball. So I was thinking if I just put them so that they're level with the sides. Oh, I need to take that off. I just realised this. I've got... What's it tape on the back of this? Oh, no, I haven't. Which one did I have tape on then? Oh, is it one of these ones? I think it's one of these ones. No. Oh, this one? No. Oh, okay. I thought I had some. Oh, it's there, but it's... Oh, okay, so it is sticking. That's good. That's handy. Right, okay, let's go with the ornate one next. Um, You don't get on very well with... So that it makes a complete bauble. Do you mean like, like that and like that? You could, but I quite like the idea of them being... Because it's kind of like the other half. Um, or like that. It just depends on how much you open your card up. Because if they open them up not enough, they won't have a complete bauble still. I know what you mean. I can. I see what you mean now. I see what you're, what you're saying. Um, I don't know how it would go. I think if it opened up a certain amount and then that was it, um, then that would work. But I don't know that I would successfully successfully managed to get that to do what it meant to do so um yeah louise I, don't, I just don't know if i could successfully pull that one off i feel like i'm gonna have a whole one in the middle there and there will be a whole one on the actual um belly band as well so you will see a whole one so hopefully then your brain will go oh those are baubles cut in half right okay um that's what i'm hoping for anyway <laughs> So, <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. Um, right, let's just glue these bits. The other thing as well with this ball ball is it is intricate, but it's got enough wider pieces that you can actually glue. Does that mean like you're not short of places to glue so you don't see it, which is nice. And again, if you do go over to Coco Rosa Studio, please use my code, which is ICED15. Ice 15 and it'll get you 15% off your order. I'm full of discounts, aren't I? Right, so that's that and that's that. And then I was going to use a. Let me just shut this up a little moment. Let me just shut this up now. Oh, and let's just make sure these don't go in the wrong places. There we go, like that. It's very thick, as you can probably see. Look how bulky that is. My goodness me, that's very bulky. Okay, so in the middle here, I am actually going to have a bauble. 
on the um no i'm going to stick with the half thing i think i am actually going to have a um a bauble on the belly band so that will hopefully then make everything tie together and there will also be a bauble in the middle so let's quickly stick this down onto here like that there we go it might slide that back actually to the edge of the card here do that there there we go like that and then the same on this side i think i'm gonna need to stick that bow down a little bit more it looks like it's about to set sail somewhere uh, right you can tell my brain's getting tired don't you <laughs> I'm being super quiet. Right, okay, this goes on here. Like that. Yeah, like that. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little bubble glue at the back here. Just so I can stick that down. Like that. Where's my pin gone? There it is. There's my pin. Let's put that back in there. It doesn't dry out. Mm. Right, I'm going to need to peg that, I think, because it is doesn't want to stay. Do I have a peg anywhere? Uh, not really. Mm. I've got a clippy thing, but I don't think that's going to work. I don't know, it might do. Yeah. Okay, so then in the middle, I've got... I've got one, oh, I've only got one bauble left. So I either put my last bauble in the middle here, or I put it on the belly band. I think I'm going to put that on the belly band and then have that in the middle, I think, because it kind of ties together everything. Hmm. Or I could put that up there like that. I just feel like it needs to be more central. What does everybody think? Why do y'all think? Because it'd be nice if it was in the middle, but I'm thinking maybe bauble here. Full bauble in the middle like that. And then that on the band. It's just annoying because you haven't got a Merry Christmas inside. But as I said, I was thinking about putting a Merry and a Christmas here. And I think I still might. So yeah, let's do that. So this one needs to go on. So let me use, uh, I'm going to use, no, I'm not going to use red tape. I'm going to use some red tape for this. So this one's going to be whole. Uh, like that. There we go, and on the bow bit there. And my kitten is mewing at me. She's like, you've been in there too long. You're talking to somebody else that isn't me, and I want your attention. When are you going to come and play with me, Mum? That's what she's saying. Uh, right, so that needs to go on there like that. There we go, and then we're going to stick this down. So, let's get stuck down. You like the Merry Christmas on the belly band? Yes, so this is part of um, Antonio Makes' latest range, because I did comment back to him that, you know, it'd be nice if he could do some uh, sentiments, because he doesn't normally do sentiments. So, this is why he has now done this. So that's wonderful, because I was really impressed with those. Um, so, he did like a whole sheet in the red and did some in navy and did some in like a creamy beigey color like a gold i suppose it is um and there's like a whole sheet and you've got different sentiments on there so that is very very good and that's one of them the merry christmas there's another one which i used on this one so I did this in my class this was the the card we've done last week for our live and so again this is one of the um greetings so there's that one there's the merry christmas there's a few others on the on the sheet so yes they are good they are good right let me put a bit of a 
Yes, there is a Noel. There's a Noel on that paper, and there's also a Noel greeting actually in the. Um, there's a Noel greeting in the sentiments on the sentiment sheet as well, and I think I do have, and I know I have a die that has Noel on it as well, so I could use that. Uh, right, let's put this on here. There we go. Just stick that down. Okay, so that's that there. Right, so then we just need to do the belly band. So for the belly band, I'll just shut this up. You have to be quite careful when you shut it up to make sure your points don't go in the wrong places. Uh, there we go. Like that. So as you can see, it's quite chunky. It's quite a chunky card. I don't have an online shop, Linda. No, I don't. Um, Antonio Makes is who is online. Well, that's he's got like a digital kit. Um, but yeah, no, I don't have a, uh, an online shop. Oh, I should have. I have that many people asking me, but <laughs> I don't actually have one. So, uh, yeah. Um, right, so the belly band. Now, I've used a piece that is um, it's about one and a half inches by... It's not quite 12. It's the length of an A4. So it's about 11 and three quarters. And I'm hoping it's going to help. And looking at the, uh, it's going to actually going to work. Looking at the thickness of this, I'm a bit concerned that it might not. But anyway, we will see. So what we're going to do is I'm just literally, I'm not going to score it. I'm just literally going to bend it round. So I'm just going to put that on there. And I'm going to bend it round. Because that way I feel like I'm going to get a better fit. And it's not going to be so snug that I can't actually get it off. So bend it round. Oh yeah, we've got we've got it meets in the middle, so that's good. Um, just need to make sure it's nice and straight. So about like there. And then I'm gonna put the Merry Christmas over the top. Um, you want some kind of um, well I think you need some kind of a border, and I was gonna get ribbon out for this. So let me just stick this together so it is one piece. You also need to make sure that you don't do it too tight, but you also don't want it too baggy. So you want it just right, which, you know, not that we're asking for perfection or anything, but you want it just right. So I'm actually going to do it that way around, I think. So I'm just going to put a bit of red tape on the inside there and then bend it round and just get it so that it's kind of fits nicely, but it's not so snug it, you know, you can't get it off. Because the other thing is, well, you have to remember that when you're sliding this off, You've got die cuts to go over and all sorts. So the chances are it could get caught on something. Um, right, so that's that. So I just need to use, um, I need to get some ribbon. And I meant to get this out beforehand and I didn't. So, because then that can go on the front. And I kind of need that teal colour. So I'm going to quickly have a look in my ribbon drawer. I meant to do this beforehand. And see if I've got any of that teal. So bear with a second while I have a look in the dark over here. My ribbon drawer, what have I got? Oh, I've got that. That's too blue. That might work. It's very dark over here, so I can't really see the colour, the true colour of my ribbons. Um, real time, me looking for ribbons. Oh, oh, oh. That one there. This one's blue, but it might work. Okay. Well, I've got a few options here, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's not a bad colour, actually. We've also got that one that actually says Happy Christmas on it. It's a bit thin. And I've got that one that's a bit thin. I like that because it's got Happy Christmas on it, but I feel like I'm going to go plain. I'm going to go with plain ribbon. Okay. So I don't know where this is from because it's just literally a bit out of my, out of my stash. I'm just going to wrap this round, get the right length, and then cut it to fit. So to here, up there. Okay, and then I'm going to use red tape to stick it on with. Uh, make sure I get it all nicely lined up and straight. And obviously that's where you write on the back, where we stuck our white bit earlier. Oh, not quite straight there, but I think we'll be okay because my... Red tape is ever so slightly thinner than my ribbon. 
I love it when you find a piece of ribbon and it fits perfectly for what you need. Just what you need. Uh, let me stick that on this end. This is for the overlap piece. There we go. Right. Okay. So let's start with the rough bit. Like that. And stick it on. And then... Always do it in sections. Just makes it a bit easier than taking the whole thing off in one go. And there we go. And then let's take the ribbon, the tape off of this. The backing tape off that piece there fold it over like that now you're probably wondering why i'm putting the the um, you know the messy bit at the front it's because i'm about to cover it up with a nice greeting there we go and i'm actually going i think to just put a line of tape just going all the way along the front there because i feel a middle rather not the front i feel like that should be enough to hold it on hopefully i could put some above and below but i think because there's a bit of bulk with the ribbon it's not then going to stick so we'll do this this way so merry christmas there we go yep that works for me there we go so there we have our finished card our double display diamond gatefold card now i'm sure i've had another card that had that name but anyway so yeah so that's the um i was going to use this <laughs> so this square is supposed to go on the front oh bother yeah i forgot about this this square is supposed to be on the front there and then that was supposed to go on top of that oh wow can i peel it off oh let me just see i've just seen that oh well it won't peel off but anyway the <laughs> That's what you'll probably say, hang on a second, you've got an extra square. That's why. Okay, so this is supposed to go underneath of that and go there. But I stuck my greeting down and forgot that I had another square to put on. Okay, so forget that. You, This is how I've done mine, but that's what your square is supposed to be for. Okay, so just so you know. Um, so the measurements below, that's, that's what it is. And you slide your band off, open it up, and there's your card. And obviously it stands up nicely. Uh, it's a bit of a wow card. It is quite um, bulky to post, but um, yeah, but it looks good. And there's so much you can do with this. If you want it as well, and I think what I might do, no, I probably won't do it for the the, the um, tutorial, but um, you can also just make these into circles if you want to do, they have to be squares. You could do any shape really. Um, you could do, I was thinking if you got like a large snowflake die, you could do, um, half snowflakes instead of instead of those triangles so yeah there's all sorts you could do all sorts you could do that would actually look quite nice probably especially if you had one with a shadow die that went behind it but yeah thank you Sandra thank you Karen yeah I don't mind it without the square it doesn't bother me I think what I was originally thinking was it mirrored the inside with the square as, far, as well but you know it works without it so so yeah so there we go so that is our card for today a bit of a wowser one just need to add a happy Christmas inside and then we're done. I mean, like you say, the paper does say Merry Christmas on it. So it's not like it doesn't have a, you know, it's not like it doesn't have a greeting on it. Um, but yeah, but hopefully you enjoyed today's live stream. Um, leave a like. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well and subscribe because that really helps me out. I'm currently just over 12,000 subscribers, about 12,100. I'm hoping to get to 15K by the end of the year. But I have only got two months to do that in. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out as a channel. It helps me out just with funding for the channel and just generally, you know, just helps with the, with, with the channel, basically. So, um, so yeah, so if you can do that, that would be great. Um, this also, which you probably sorted it out, you've probably sussed this already, um, but it fits in a five by seven envelope. You would have to make it a bit bigger because of the bulk. That's the only thing I would say. So my five by seven envelopes, or the envelopes that fit five by seven cards, are probably a bit, bit it'd be a bit snug in that. So I'd probably have to make a slightly bigger envelope to make it fit. Um, but yeah. So there you go, people. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to poodle off now. Go and give my kitten some love. Uh, look at my other, you know, go and say hello to my other cat. I shall take a picture of this and upload it soon, as soon as it lets me. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it today. Um, and yeah, if you want to leave me a little comment below 
you know, other things you want to see in live streams. It sounds like most of you are quite happy with tutorials, which is great because I'm happy to do tutorials. Um, but yeah, um, please let everyone know. If you know of a crafter who doesn't know about my channel, please let them know about it. Get them to join. Let's get some more people on the lives. Um, yeah, and I will see you all next week. So next week it will be exactly the same time again. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. I have got another... Um, I've got another project in the pipeline, um, but I'm just toying as to whether we do it as a live or whether I do it as a video, because it is quite complicated. It's an advent calendar card. Um, so, yeah, I might do it as a live, actually. We'll see. We will see. Let me just sort out my ribbon here while I'm talking to you. Um, but, yeah, but I hope you all have a good day, um, and uh, I will see you next week. Okie dokie. Bye, everybody. I need to uh, come off now. This is where I, oh, this is where I always m m make a make a mess of it. But yeah, see you all next week. Bye bye.